होप आप सब अच्छे होंगे आप अच्छे से पढ़ाई कर भी रहे होंगे तो दोस्तों आज हम लाए हैं डेटा कम्युनिकेशन एंड कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क दोस्तों आज हम थोड़ा थ्योरी देखेंगे और क्या क्या हमारा सिलेबस होने वाला है वो दोस्तों ये हमारा मेंशन है ये सिलेबस हम टोटल सारे पार्ट्स में मिलकर कवर करेंगे तो जिसमें डेटा नेटवर्क एंड नेटवर्किंग बेसिक्स मैक एंड डेटा लिंक लेयर ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर TCP/IP, Introduction of Computer Network, LAN, MAN, WAN, Network Essential, Internet Address, ARP, RARP, Internet Protocols, User Data, Datagram Protocol, Transmission Control Protocol, Routines, Internet, Multitesting, Socket Interface, एंड डोमेन इन सिस्टम एंड एप्लीकेशन ये दोस्तों हम टोटल हम ये सिलेबस देखने वाले हैं तो आइए चलते हैं वट इज कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स कनेक्टेड विद ईच अदर थ्रू वायर्स ऑप्टिकल फाइबर्स और ऑप्टिकल लिंक्स so that various devices can interact with each other through a network the, the aim of computer network is sharing of resources among various devices in case of computer network technology there are several types of network that vary from simple to complex level components of computer network are an ic hub switches component uh, cables and connectors routers and modem so an ic is first part it helps to communicate with another devices it contains hardware hardware addresses the data link uh, the, the data link layer protocol use the address to identify the system on the network so that it transfer the data to the correct destination there are two types of nic wireless nic or wired nic if we talk about wireless nic wireless nic all the modem laptops use the wireless nic in wireless nic a connection is made using antenna the temple is the radio wave technology means we are using radio waves okay and in wired nic cables use the wired nic to transfer the data over the mediums we are using basically cable next are hub hub is a central device that splits the network connection into multiple devices when computer request for information from a computer it sends the request to the hub and hub distributes this request to all the interconnected computers and the switches switch is a networking device that groups all the devices over the network to transfer the data to another device switch is better than hub as it does not broadcast the message over the network hub is broadcasting the net uh, the uh, message while switch is selecting one node and giving the message to it it send the message to the device for which it belongs to therefore we can say switch sends message directly from source to destination and then cable and connectors cable is transmission media that transmit the communication signal there are three types of distributed pair cable 
coaxial fiber optic cable now we are using mostly fiber optic cable and it is giving the high speed over a fiber and uh, it can go up to many gbps so it is very easy and uh, losses are very less and uh, the transmission speed is very high so we are using fiber optical cable next is router router is a device that connects the LAN to the internet the router is mainly used to connect the, di the distinct network or connect the internet to multiple computers modem modem connects the computer to the internet over the existing telephone line a modem is not integrated with the computer motherboard a modem is a separate part on the PC slot found on the motherboard means we have to connect separate modem okay use of computer network so what are the use resource share resource sharing server client model communication medium e-commerce so what is resource sharing resource resource sharing sharing is a sharing of resource such as programs printers and data among the users on the network without the requirement of physical location of the resource and user and in server client model computer networking used in server server client model a server is centrally central computer used to store the information and maintained by the system administrator clients are the machine used to access the information stored in the server remotely communication medium computer network behave as a communication medium among the users for example a company contains more than one computer has an email system which the employee use for daily communication purpose e-commerce computer network is also important in business we can do the business over the internet for example Amazon Flipkart is doing their business over the internet so it is a good thing features of computer network so there are features communication speed speed file sharing backup and rollback hardware and software sharing security scalability reliability so uh, if we talk about communication speed it provides us to communicate over the network in a fast efficient manner for example we can do video conferencing email message over the internet therefore the computer network is a great way to share our knowledge and ideas if we talk about file sharing it is one of the major advantage of a computer network computer network provide provide us to share the files with each other if we talk about backup and rollback it is a easy since the files are stored in the main server which is centrally located therefore it is easy to take the backup from the main server if we talk about software and hardware sharing we can install the application on the main server therefore the user can access the application centrally so we do not need to install the software on every machine similarly hardware can also be shared like we used same Xerox machine in an office so we are giving command from our uh, system and we got Xerox so we no need to connect plug uh, of uh, separate Xerox machine or printer for that same Xerox machine is shared among all the office members if we talk about security network allows the security by ensuring that the user has the right to access and certain files applications if we talk about scalability it means that we can add the new component on the network network must be scalable so that we can extend the network by adding new device but it decreases the speed of the connection and data of the data of the transmission speed also so transmission speed also decreases 
this increase the chance of error the problem can be overcome by using routing or switching devices reliability computer network can use the alternative source of the data communication in case of hardware failure if we talk about computer net network architecture it is defined as the physical and logical design of the software hardware protocols and media of the transmission of data simply we can say that how computers are organized and how tasks are allocated to the computer types of computer network peer to peer network or client server network so we see we will see peer to peer network peer to peer network is a network in which all the computers are linked together with equal privilege and responsibility processing the data peer to peer network is useful for small environment usually up to 10 computers special permission are assigned to each computer for sharing the resource but this can also lead to a problem if the computer within the resource is down advantage of peer to peer network less costly because dedicated server is not needed if one computer stops working the computer will not other computer will not stop working others are working it is easy to set up and maintain each computer manages itself disadvantage it does not contain centralized system therefore backup of data is we cannot take and data is different at different location and the security issue next is client server network so we have a server over internet we are have a client client server network is a network model assigned for the end users called client to access the resource such as songs videos or files from a central computer known as server so we have a one server central controller is known as server while all other computers network are called clients or clients a server perform all the major operations such as security and network management a server is responsible for managing all the resources such as file directories printers all the clients communicate with each other through a server so they they are they are connecting with server okay through server so they are connecting with each other through a server for example if the client 1 if the client 1 wants to send a uh, some data of to client 2 then first is send the request to the server it send the request to the server for the permission the server send the response to the client 1 to initiate its communication with client 2 means server play play a major role on that what is advantage it contains a centralized system so backup of data can be taken easily a client server network has dedicated server that improves the overall performance of the whole system security is better in a client server network than single okay security is better increase speed what is disadvantage it is expensive and server requires large memory 
सर्वर है नेटवर्क ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एन ओ एस कॉस्ट ऑफ एन ओ एस इज हाई डेडिकेटेड नेटवर्क एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर टू मैनेज ऑल द रिसोर्स तो गाइज वी हैव सीन सम बेसिक्स इन दिस पार्ट एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी आर नॉट टेकिंग सम एम सी क्यूज बिकॉज वी जस्ट रेड सम बेसिक्स एंड वी लर्न डेट सो इन नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी विल टेक थियोरी एंड एम सी क्यू एज वेल सो वी विल प्रोसीड फॉर आर फ्यूचर एग्जाम्स सो गाइज थैंक यू वेरी मच ओवर दैट थैंक यू